What's up guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I just want to explain to you guys a car that doesn't start and makes a sound. It can also make a clunk, like one solid click sound when you turn the ignition and the car doesn't start. Okay, before that, I wanted, I had a lot of people come to me, uh, tow truck, tow this car, he said about starter. When I start, when I try to crank the car, it goes brrrr. That could mean only two things. Either uh, your uh, battery is bad, no connect, uh, ba I'm sorry, if your battery has low voltage, it's gonna do that. If your starter is not working, it's gonna do that. Uh, usually a good uh, solid sign that starter is bad is a clunk noise. Anyways, brrr also can mean that starter wants to, the, 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 the cell on order is engaging back and forth. But at least we know the ignition is good, the fuse is good, and the relay is good. The starter does have a relay. Anyways, to determine all this, if it's battery or starter, what you want to do is, you want to get yourself a jump box, get yourself a good jump box, or get, have somebody give you a jump start. Uh, make sure that you got a good connection. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to put positive on positive. Okay. And a negative on a negative. That's how simple that is. Okay, sometimes even your jump box won't make a good connection. So let me see if I can put this on the ground. And we got lengthy enough cables. So sometimes your jump start won't make a good connection either. So you have to move it around. But prior to that, let's remove this. What I want to do is uh, I want to start the car so you guys can hear the noises. I'm going to just go inside and turn the key. So now it's doing a clunk, click, click, click. That's what I mentioned. It yesterday did brrrr. So we do know, uh, we do everything is working. So one more thing I want to do is uh, I do want to uh, put a jump box on and I'm going to give it a try just in case there's a bad connection or voltage is low because this battery looks pretty old. Anyways, let's start this. There we have it. Completely bad starter. Give it another attempt. Have somebody move your connections around here because sometimes it could be a bad connection in the jump. One more time. Bad starter, okay? No problems. This is a completely bad starter, but you do want to attempt this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you a, a diagram of a diagram you would, you would follow just in case your fuse is bad or your relay is bad. But if you hear a noise like that, that bypasses everything. Okay, so we determined this car has a bad starter. I'm gonna call up a battery and a starter. Anyways, uh, stay tuned uh, to watch my other videos and, and I'm gonna show you a little bit of diagram on this. Anyways, I do have a video on how to change your starter on this vehicle, 2007, eight, nine, 10. Same thing, just search up. Uh, 2007 Honda Civic RB the mechanic. You had to add RB the mechanic so my video can show up. It's a black Honda Civic that I wrecked on. Change the starter on this baby. It's a good and easy video, but you need to get underneath and be safe. Priority number one being safe, lifting the car, jacking up, putting security jacks so you don't hurt yourself and you don't kill yourself because that matters more than changing a starter on a week. Anyways, guys, uh, have fun checking out the diagram that I'm about to show you right now. So here's the simplest uh, diagram for this starter. So pretty much battery is grounded. This is the battery, it has a ground. Positive, this is this is direct power right there. It's, it's, uh, it's gonna be a big 12 millimeter bolt there. So that's there live. Long as this control cable here, the starter control cable, the starter itself is grounded. So it has ground. So when you turn the key, this uh, black and white cable right here, this is a one pin connector on the starter. I'll show you that. I'll show you both of these. Uh, this little guy gets power and it activates this uh, solenoid. Clunk, the starter uh, engages, it completes the circuit and the starter motor just starts the engine. It starts to spin. So pretty much you got the clunk we hit is we got this power. Once we turn the key, it gets power and um, this thing engages. But the starter motor does not turn over, so that's the issue we're having. So uh, we're gonna go look back. So you got EX, DX, LX, GX. So pretty much uh, starter cut relay. Here's a starter cut relay. Uh, make sure your starter relay works. It could be a bad relay, but then you won't have any power here if there's a bad relay. So pretty much, uh, and if the fuse is bad, 
if you had to look at for fuses because it starts all start from fuses here so if the the once this this thing uh gets um power here the cell at the uh, the relay energizes it completes this circuit and this is the same power that sits here and so you will have ground and you will have a reverse ground and uh, over here once you turn the key this will get power this thing will energize it will complete the circuit since the power is here by turning the key and this will shoot straight down to the starter and since we know that is working so we're in good hand okay I, i'm sorry I, I made a mistake here so this thing is controlled is this circuit is the other way around I, I, I didn't pay attention to it too much so uh okay i'm sorry you no, no no this is correct so this is ground so you will have ground present here i thought this was ignition switch so this is a neutral switch so you will have a ground from the park and it will have ground from the neutral. So those are the only two circuits right there that will give you ground sitting right here on the relay. So it needs to be powered up from the key end. So if you look at the key end and when you turn the key to start, so pretty much this is a relay right here so that it would give it a power here. That's how simple it is. And it would give it a power and energize. That's how simple it is. So you do need to look at the ignition fuses and all the other fuses, starter fuses, all that needs to be checked out. And uh, that's something you're gonna have to look under the dash or under the uh, under the hood to figure those out. Anyways, very simple diagram and it's simple and easy. So I got the starter out. So the starter has uh, one uh, big bolt cable that's bolted on right here. That's live power, okay? That's 12 volts live. That's why we need to disconnect the battery. And here's the control cable. This is the one pin connector. So this is the cable that I wanna show you guys. Uh, if you go underneath here, okay, so let's look for the harness first of all. How can we see this? Okay, we can't see this. So, you see this connector right here? This is the connector right there on the axle boot. That is the one connector. This guy right here is what you want to check power. Okay, this is a control. This is when you turn the key, this gets the power and it, it activates the starter and the, the solenoid clicks and the 12 volt, the big cable, uh, turns the starter motor. So that's the big cable that I was talking about right here, 12 volts right here, is into this. So those are the two, this is the only one you want to check. So what is happening in it, it's going to click, click, but it doesn't turn the motor, okay? So usually you see all this build up in here, all this stuff came out of this starter. So this is pretty much, I had to hammer it out. So all that stuff came out of there. So there's probably more stuff in there. Look at that, look at that. There you go. Okay, so this starter is done. And that's the issue with these little starters. Job is all completed. There's our old starter in the box. And it's a moment of truth. Check this out. This baby starts up good. There should be no noises as it starts up. Other than that, you all set. Guys, just basic little things, okay? Only thing, the point of this video here is, the main point, the main point here is, sometimes it's a bad connection. Sometimes it's a weak battery. So, brrr, clock can also mean that it doesn't have enough power to engage, okay? Give it a jump start, try your best. If you need to, change the battery as well and before you tackle that starter, okay? Most likely it's gonna be starter, but I just showed you a few points to check out just by going through your diagram, check your fuse and relay. But if you hear a click, that means your relay and fuse is all good, ignition switch is good, every power is going, the engine still should turn over. Whether it starts or not, it should, should still crank the engine up okay anyway guys thank you for watching my video peace out don't forget to subscribe share and like see you guys on the next one